Attack on Titan, 10 Characters Who Switched Sides In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of Attack on Titan, allegiances can change at the drop of a hat. No one can be trusted. Attack on Titan has had many plot twists throughout the manga. Some of the best ones were when characters revealed things about themselves or made decisions that nobody expected, changing how fans saw them. Whether it be one of the branches in Parody Military, Marley's Warrior Unit, or any of the other groups from the story, fans were shocked when characters switched sides. 10. Jean was originally going to join the military police, but decided to be in the Survey Corps. When Jean was first introduced, he wanted to become a soldier in the military police. However, once the Titans invaded Trost District, he realized that he belonged in the Survey Corps. Seeing as how the Survey Corps and military police fought each other shortly after. He could have ended up fighting against his former comrades if he did join the military police much earlier than he had to. A few years later, the Yeagerists overthrew Parody. And when Jean tried to stop the rumbling, they considered him to be a traitor, including those he knew from the 104th Cadet Corps. 9. Reiner was torn between being a warrior and a soldier. When Reiner was a child, he wanted to become one of Marley's warriors. However, after this dream came true, he had to do a lot of things that he didn't want to. During his mission to find the founding Titan, he joined the 104th Cadet Corps with Annie and Bertholdt, making it so they fought alongside the people they planned to kill. Like Jean. He originally planned to join the military police, but decided to join the Survey Corps when he found out that Aaron was a Titan shifter. Part of him even started to believe that he was a soldier rather than a warrior. However, he revealed his identity as the Armored Titan shortly after, becoming one of the Survey Corps' greatest enemies until he helped them save the world. 8. Connie was considered a traitor by the Yeagerists. Connie was another soldier from the 104th Cadet Corps who planned on becoming a member of the military police. However, after graduating, he decided to join the Survey Corps. Seeing as how he considered Reiner to be a close friend, he was shocked and he revealed his true identity. A few years later, Connie would be considered to be a traitor as well. As he tried to manipulate the Yeagerists he used to be friends with before fighting them. He finally understood how Reiner felt. 7. Emer was a soldier who helped the warriors. When Emer was a child, she lived in Marley. A group of religious Eldians believed that she was Emer Fritz, but once the Marleans found out about her, she was sent to parody. After inheriting the Jaw Titan, she started a new life as a soldier in the 104th Cadet Corps, followed by the Survey Corps. Due to her past, she was able to understand what Reiner and Bertholdt were going through and betrayed the Survey Corps to help them. Allowing Porco to take the Jaw Titan from her. 6. Kruger was a Marleyan officer, the Owl, and an inheritor of the Attack Titan. When Kruger was first introduced, he seemed to be an ordinary Marleyan officer. However, he had a secret identity as the Owl the leader of the Eldian Restorationists. He was also the inheritor of the Attack Titan and used his powers to kill the Marleyan officers he worked with for years. He then passed the Attack Titan to Grisha, hoping that he could finish their mission. 5. Zeke pretended to be loyal to Marley for years while secretly being an Eldian Restorationist. As the son of Grisha and Dina, Zeke was expected to be an Eldian Restorationist. However, once Marley came close to figuring out who was in the group, Zeke was forced to betray his parents in order to save himself and his grandparents. As a result, Marley had a lot of faith in him and gave him the Beast Titan. For years, he pretended to be a loyal warrior while secretly being an Eldian Restorationist in his own way, believing that, by using the Founding Titan to stop Eldians from being born. 
he could end the conflict between them and other races. To achieve this, he joined forces with the Survey Corps, only to end up betraying them. 4. Levi originally hated the Survey Corps, but became its strongest soldier. In the spin-off, Attack on Titan, No Regrets, it was revealed that Levi originally hated the Survey Corps and joined them in order to kill Erwin. However, after the deaths of his two closest friends, he became humanity's strongest soldier. Years later, when the Yeagerists overthrew Parody military, he betrayed his nation to stop the rumbling and save the world. 3. Kenny used to be an assassin before becoming the anti-personnel control squad's leader. Before he was introduced, Kenny was the assassin known as Kenny the Ripper. However, when he met Yuri Rice, he began working with him and eventually became the leader of the anti-personnel control squad. The Survey Corps and anti-personnel control squad ended up fighting each other, causing Kenny to become the enemy of the boy he taught to fight, Levi. In the final moments of his life, Kenny gave Levi the Titan Serum he considered using on himself, helping the Survey Corps in the end. 2. Flock betrayed the Survey Corps and became a Yeagerist. Flock was a member of the 104th Cadet Corps who originally joined the garrison but became a Survey Corps soldier shortly after. However, he ended up hating Parody military and helped Aaron form the Yeagerists to overthrow them. As the Yeagerists' second leader, Flock became a traitor to his former comrades and ended up fighting them in hopes that Parody could be saved. 1. Aaron became one of the Survey Corps' greatest enemies and the leader of the Yeagerists. When Aaron was a child, he dreamed of being in the Survey Corps, wanting to explore the world and kill as many Titans as he could. However, after being able to see into the future, he drastically changed. He betrayed his comrades and secretly created the Yeagerists. When he was ready, the Yeagerists overthrew Parody. Shortly after, Aaron began the rumbling, killing thousands of people. However, one of the reasons he did all of this was so his loved ones in the Survey Corps would fight him in front of the whole world and prove that they were heroes. In the end, Aaron really was loyal to the Survey Corps despite hurting them. 